Hey guys, Carl Brown from Guitarist365.com and this is the weekly technique workout number three. Now, this is not musical at all, so this is a workout. This is not just to get your hands playing so you can play anything you want musically. This workout works on your stretching and it'll work on your coordination. So first, we're going to do this. Put your four fingers on the fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh fret. Be sure that before you get involved with all this, so it's, you can memorize and see how it's laid out, be sure to grab the tab. Um, when you have that in front of you, it'll be a lot easier to follow along. So we have right here, four, five, six, seven. All right, so what we're going to do is, you want to keep those fingers right, properly placed, right up against the fret, um, and with not a lot of pressure, barely, barely touching down on the string. Okay, how they're perfectly in line. You got nice arched fingers here. Now we're going to take the first finger and we're going to go to the fifth string on the fourth fret. While keeping the other ones, try to still keep the exact same amount of pressure, nice and light, even pressure. And then over to the fourth string. Go back and forth between the, the um, in the second string. So you're going fifth to the second. Try to do it in a rhythm. Try to connect the notes as much as possible. I'm, by the way, I'm picking everything the bottom note with my pick, and if it's on the B string, I'm going to be using my middle finger here, and if it's on the high E string, I'm using my ring finger. But so after you do that a couple times, then you ramp up the difficulty a little bit. Still keep this here, but reach over and grab the sixth string and go to the first. Easy enough. Now we're going to put your first finger back where it was before. Now you're going to do the same thing, but now with the second finger. So that's going back and forth between the fifth string and second string on the fifth fret there, then the sixth and the high E. Keeping the other ones as relaxed as possible, then the third finger. All right, shake your hand out a little bit if it's getting a little bit tense. Make sure your thumb is in a nice kind of middle of the neck position back there when you're doing these. All right, so after this is stretched out, we're going to ramp up the level of difficulty a little bit more. Place the four notes, same four notes here, but now we're going to use our first and second fingers together. We're going to go fifth string, this is going to be playing on the fifth string and the, with its in its fourth fret, and the second finger obviously always plays in the fifth fret, and it's going to be on the B string. You're going to pick those two together, then as one's going down to reach its note, the other one's going up. So you rotate back and forth, and then on the outside strings. I know I'm not making a bunch of friends with this, but it works. It's a great warm-up. By the way, this was taught to me by a classical guitar teacher of mine named Scott Tennant. And it's in his book called Pumping Nylon, uh, which is like the Bible for classical guitarists. So uh, if you grab that, you'll have this is in there. So then we're gonna continue with this. Now instead of using the first, we're gonna use it with every two finger combination. So we did first and second. Now we're gonna do the second and third fingers. Much more difficult. All right, and then the third and fourth, which is obviously the most difficult. Now you're not gonna run into a lot of playing situations where you have to do that, but it's like I said, it's a good technique exercise. Let's hope you don't run into that kind of thing anyway. All right, then we're gonna spread it out a little bit. These are a bit easier. Still got the fingers there, but now you could just be using uh, one and three to play across those strings. So you're moving your first and third fingers across while keeping the other ones nice and even. And then let's do the same thing with the two and four. So keep the one and three down the G string. All right, and then the outside, we have first finger and pinky. And our two are just hanging out on the G string. Very little pressure. Okay. So get through that, shake your hand out. If you have to shake your hand out a few times, that's great. 
Um, just, I mean, something's, you're, as long as it's not sharp pain. But anyway, take this workout. Just go through the tab every day along with the other workouts. And I think you'll really start noticing some strength and flexibility um, increase in your head. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's weekly technique workout. I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.